So we talk about STEM a lot, right? And, and, and it's become a, a word that gets used all over the place. And we talk about it primarily about how we create the next generation of scientists and engineers. And so it's important on a lot of different levels that we continue to work hard to bring more and more students and kids and families into the STEM arena. And, and, and we do that in a lot of different ways. We do that with things like FIRST Robotics so that they have an opportunity from kindergarten all the way up to high school to understand what STEM means, what engineering means, what science means, why math is important. Things like Drone Team Challenge where they can take off from the ground and fly a quadrotor around and understand the four forces of flight and, and get to understand why there's rules and regulations for, for why you fly unmanned systems. When you look at things like family science nights and field trips to the Emerald Coast Science Center, where families and students get to interact with all kinds of different exhibits. They get to learn about animals and their habitats. They get to learn about nature. They get to learn about physics and engineering and science. And they get to interact with all of those things on a level that you can't do in a whole lot of other places. And when we put them in classrooms, in career and technical education classrooms, where they learn welding and they learn coding and they learn lots of skills that people will need to be successful in a STEM arena so that they can ride that pipeline all the way up to a STEM career. And so what we've done is taken all of those organizations that do all of those different things. They create all of those different opportunities for those students and families to be involved in STEM, and you create a coalition for that. And so you have things like the Doolittle Institute and the Shoe Educational Foundation, the Emerald Coast Science Center and the Emerald Coast Robotics Alliance, Boys and Girls Club at the Emerald Coast and the Okaloosa School District's Career and Technical Education coming together to give those students and those families the opportunity to really get an exposure to STEM so that they can get excited about it. Each one of us brings our own special skill sets to our community and we offer programs for all different types of activities for children and families. And, and the, the important thing about that is, is they're an informal learning opportunity. That means they're outside of the classroom. So you can't flunk it. You're not going to get a grade in these activities and you're not going to fail. And that allows children to be engaged in their natural curiosity. And it brings their parents along with them. So these are all family activities that can be done together in an informal setting and people can focus on the things that they're really interested in and therefore they get more out of it. Yeah!